back in. I'm very much in favor of the United States coming in heavily on the diplomatic side. I think it's been one of the problems over the last three years, really, is the United States has not been as heavily involved. I think we've seen the advantages of the uh, Russian involvement, and it needs to be uh, followed through, which is now being, by a American involvement. Well, I think whilst a lot will depend on the ceasefire negotiations that are going on at the airport now and still going on and likely, I think, to take some more time, if they could make a breakthrough there, then we would be, I imagine, facing immediate demands to do something about Mostar. As you know, in the plan, it was to go under European Union administration as part of the overall comprehensive settlement. Maybe you could take Mostar out of the peace settlement rather as we're starting to do with Sarajevo. I think, in many ways, the humanitarian situation in Mostar is worse than Sarajevo. One of the encouraging things, aspects of the development is the close cooperation now between the uh, European Union and the United States and Russia. And I mean, we, we must have it quite clear that without a cooperation and understanding between these uh, powers, uh, it will uh, be very difficult to have any results that is credible and viable for the future. Is this a UN cooperation or...? No, I don't think uh, I, um, what we have uh, achieved in Sarajevo is a welcome uh, development and we hope that uh, similar uh, demilitarization can take place in other parts of the, of the country. This is only a first step in a very long road and we hope that the people can seize a moment and have the inspiration for a viable and acceptable peace. Sarajevo is only a first step.